We're gonna be making Gavalungu by DJ Maporesa and Tepsa T. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Ambitious Kid, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Gava Logo by DJ Maporisa and Tabsa T right here on Apple Studio Mobile. And guys, the best part of this whole video is that I'm going to be giving away this hot Gava Logo beat to you guys for free. Yes, guys, absolutely for free. But guys, before you download this hot Gava Logo project file, make sure that you subscribe and watch this video carefully because in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys that log password for this hot cover lungu alpha project file okay guys let's get right into it Okay guys, so what I started by doing to make this hot cup of Lungu beat on FL Studio Mobile is that I started at the shakers and then by inserting a shaker loop which sounds like this. Let me increase the volume for that so everything can be fire guys. Nice shaker loop and then when I press edit to check inside of it, it looks like this. Nice and smooth guys. So this is the shaker loop. Okay guys, moving on to my next instrument, I have my hot purity strings, which I found them at the B-Way packs, and then this is how they sound like. And then when I press edit, you will see that I doubled the strings by using this note and this lower note. All in all, they sound like this. super hot guys super hot moving on to my next instrument guys i have my organ which sounds like this nice organ guys and those who can't hear it properly i'm gonna switch off this and then play it alone it sounds like this nice hot organ guys it sounds like this on the key notes just a normal organ and what i actually did to it so it can sound this cool guys is that i added a reverb right there guys as you can see and let me quickly show you guys how to add a reverb you're gonna press plus you're gonna see there reverb 2 you're gonna click it just like that guys there's your reverb so since i have my reverb i'm gonna delete this one just like that guys hope you guys have learned something okay guys so moving on to my next instrument after the organ, I have my chords, which sound like this. Hot chords, guys, hot chords. And then if we can get inside of them, we can see them closely, how I played them. Nice chords, guys, nice chords. And then this is how the single note of the chord sounds like and then all in all they sound super cool guys when i double the chords and then here i played them on fourth guys as you can see so guys moving on to the next instrument after my chords i have my ttc 
which sounds like this. Super hard guys and if I can switch off these other things and then play the TTC alone it sounds like this guys it's a bass type of an instrument that boosts the other instruments guys to sound really hard so that's really fire guys that the TTC does so and this is how it sounds like guys super hard guys super hard moving on to my next instrument after the TTC I have my drums and then they sound like this super hot drums guys and if we can go to the edit section to check out my drums is that I use this drum and I use this head and then this hi-hat actually and then all in all they sound like this just like that guys nice and simple Okay guys, moving on to my next instrument after these hi-hat drums, I have my drums, snares and shakers and all that guys in this drum, so they sound like this. Super hot guys, so this drum contains this snare, hi-hats. And then this 707 kick, guys, which is mostly popular nowadays, especially in the mellow and sleazy genre. Okay, guys, so that's how I made my hi-hats. And then this is how they sound like. If I can solo them, you will hear how nice they are, guys. They're really classic and simple, guys. So that's how they sound like when I solo them, meaning I play them alone. Super hot guys, super hot. Okay guys, so moving on to my next instrument. I have the same drums, but this time they don't have a kick. As I can play the drums for you guys. Just like that guys. But this time, on these second drums guys, we're gonna take out the kick. Because we won't be needing the kick. So I'm going to click here. Drag this thing. And then say delete. And then move on again. And then click here. Drag and then say delete. We delete all the kicks guys. So we can have this only. We'll need it later on the beat guys. Which I'll show you where. Okay guys. Nicely done. And then the next part of the beat guys. After the hard shakers and all that is the bass and then this is how it sounds like super hot bass guys and you can only hear the bass if maybe let's say you're wearing headphones you'll be able to hear the bass that i'm playing right now okay guys and the bass i used is the sub bass so let me quickly play the beat for you guys so you can hear it how cool it is with the sub bass just like that guys let's play that nicely done guys super hot nicely done guys and the other insane thing i did to this beat was to add in the cavalungu vocals and then this is how they sound like guys with the whole beat which are pretty insane. Super hot vocals, guys. And then the vocals carry on on this part and also on this part guys which i'm going to quickly show you guys later on on the video so before we skip the the other instruments guys this is my other instrument that i use the slow strings to make the beat which sounds like this and guys with the whole beat it sounds like this which I'm gonna quickly switch on everything and then this is how it sounds like now with the also with the vocals guys
Super hot strings, guys. Super hot strings, and then which the notes sound like this. Okay, guys, moving on to my next instrument. I have my D tune, which sounds like this. And guys, in the inside edit section, it looks super cool like this, guys. It was nice and simple, guys, making the G-Tune, which I used this note and this note to make this hot D-Tune, guys, which sounds super cool. And guys, adding the hot vocal. They blend in so cool, guys. They blend in so well. Okay, guys, moving on to my next instrument, I have are my log drums guys the most important part of this beat are the log drums of course and then this is how they sound like guys my first log drum i'm gonna quickly switch off all these other things so you guys can hear how the log drums sound like super hot log drums guys super hot log drums and then what i actually did again is that in the edit section as you can see this is how i played my hot log drums this is how i played them guys and guys the following instrument that i used to boost my hot log drums is that i used this corrugated log drum which sounds like this super hot guys super hot moving on to my next instrument i have my echo leads and then this is how they sound like Nice and simple, guys. Just like that, guys. That's how I did it. That's how I did my hot log drums. They were pretty simple, though. And then, guys, let me quickly play the log drums with the whole beat for you guys so that you guys can hear what I actually did here. Let me quickly do that. Switch on everything below, just like that. And then this is how it sounds like, guys. And then, guys, when I play with the vocals too, it sounds like this. super hot guys so that's how i made this hot beat and then the next side of the beat is that i actually took this side of the beat and then pasted it at the other side but i'm also going to play it for you guys too so that things can be super hot guys so let me quickly play this other side for you guys also with the vocals nicely done guys so that's how i made the cover lungu hot beat on apple studio mobile for beginners guys i hope you guys have learned a lot make sure that you subscribe guys don't forget to like this video and also subscribe guys and guys the most important part please leave a comment 
on the section below so that I can know which video to make for you guys or which part I can help you guys with on FL Studio Mobile, guys. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. Peace, guys. Enjoy your project file. Thank you.